I'm Jillian Raby and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, a heads up on some Android malware, the best TV we've ever seen, and investigators scrutinize that terrifying plane crash footage from Taiwan. If you're an Android OS user, we've got a quick heads up about three apps to stay away from due to malware concerns. The first is called Dirac, a card game that was available in the Google Play Store. It has since been removed. Avast Security said Dirac is the most widespread of the three apps in question, with more than 5 million downloads. In-game ads from the app send users to a third-party app store, where other apps attempt to access personal information from the phone or run up big texting bills. A Russian IQ test app from SHAP and the Russian history app from Prometage have also been bounced from the Play Store. Hit the link below for more details. We test a lot of TVs here at Digital Trends, and it's not often we give any of them a five-star rating. But there's a first time for everything. Just check out LG's 65-inch curved screen OLED masterpiece. It's literally like a TV from the future. The screen is about a quarter inch thick, it gracefully curves, it does 3D, 4K, UHD, and the interface to run it is a step up from anything else available. Even the remote is cool. But the biggest feature? The absolutely stunning picture quality. Perfect blacks and incredible color make movies you're already familiar with seem like some sort of enhanced director's cut. Price? Well, that's probably the only sore point. You'll need 10 grand to put one of these in your TV room, but you know how it goes. Next year, the new and improved model will be half that much. By now, you've probably seen the terrifying dash cam footage of a plane crashing into a bridge and then a river in Taiwan. Crash investigators are using the footage to hopefully find a reason for why the plane came down. As of now, 21 of the 58 passengers and crew are confirmed dead, but reports from the scene indicate there are survivors. Investigators are scrutinizing the dash cam footage, and CNN analysts look closely at the left engine, which may have lost power and failed to feather, causing the plane to pull hard to the left. The crash was actually caught on at least two in-car cameras, including this one further back. Passengers in the car cried out as the plane hit. In-car cameras are becoming more popular as people use the footage for legal reasons in case of accidents, but sadly they're also catching deadly disasters as well. Our thoughts today are with those aboard the plane and the families of those who lost their loved ones. That's DT Daily for today. We'll be back tomorrow.